Hello and welcome back to my shop. Um, took last week off, had some family responsibilities I needed to take care of. Uh, I'm back. I had a very, very busy weekend. Um, unfortunately, not a lot of shop time. Today, I did get a few hours in the shop earlier today and I had a chance to work on my scroll saw and I think I discovered and corrected the problem that I was having with the saw not being able to cut straight. I shot a little video along the way as I worked on the saw and I'd like to share that with you now and, and kind of let you guys see uh, what I went through and what, uh, what I determined was the problem. I've been working on my scroll saw and I wanted to get back with you guys and let you know that I found two things that I believe are causing my blade not to cut straight. The first issue is I bought a gross of Olsen blades. They're the 2 ot crown tooth blade. Um, I normally use these blades and I really like them but that is when I started having the problem when I put the first blade on. So I believe those blades were an issue. I out to Woodcraft and I bought some 2 ot skip tooth blades from Olsen. Put them, and I just bought a dozen of them. I put one of those on the saw and I was able to cut a straighter line. I was still veering off a little bit and I wasn't sure why so I began taking the saw apart and here's what I came up with. This is the carriage, there's the top one, the bottom carriage that holds the blade. This back part mounts onto these two arms and the front part is where the thumb nut is or the thumb screw to be able to tighten the blade into the carriage. What I found was there's a little set screw that goes on the opposite side here. That set screw goes in here and you can adjust it in or out to make your blade centered in the slot of the carriage. What I found, and I hope you can see this, let me try to get focused. See how it looks like it's kind of mashed and been hit by a hammer? One side is actually lower than the other. And I think what's happening is when I tighten my blade, I'm not getting a good flat surface from uh, the thumb screw to the set screw. With the set screw, what I did is I uh, ran it into the carriage in reverse so that the flat part that normally is used to pinch the blade is facing out. And then I took a file and I ran it carefully up and down the file uh, to try to flatten the edge. I also went around the corners and took the burr off the corner where it had been flattened down. It looks pretty good. It's hard to see on the video, but it looks really flat when I inspect it. There, there's a there's a bit of a, of a shine on it because it's kind of like polishing it up with the file. But I'm going to go ahead and reinstall it. And with these new 2 ot uh, skip tooth blades, I'm going to do a test and see how this works. Keep your fingers crossed. Reinstalled the set screw on the same side uh, of the bottom carriage as the top carriage. And it's kind of hard to see, but I've, I've tried very hard to make sure that it's it's protruding about the same distance uh, as the one on the top. That way the blade should be held in the same position inside the top and the bottom carriage. I'm going to go ahead now and uh, put this back onto the saw, the bottom uh, arm of the saw. Reinstalled it. I went ahead and, and put the thumb screw back in and I've got a nice tight fit. I, I wish the camera could show this a little better, but I've got a nice tight flat fit uh, between the thumb screw and the uh, set screw. So I'm hoping that's a good sign uh, that it's going to hold the blade um, properly and uh, help me align the blade the way I need to align it. So let me get this put back on and I'll be back. All right, I have replaced the bottom carriage and put all the all of the guards and everything back in place and got my blade in. It's a number, it's a two ot skip tooth blade from Olsen. I still love Olsen blades. Um, I've got it tightened, got a nice tone to it so it's nice and tight. What I want to do now is I'm going to take this piece of scrap 2x4 and I'm going to make sure that my blade is perpendicular to the table. And how we do that is we start the saw and we cut into the 2x4. Let me slow that down just a little bit. Alright, now what I'm going to do is flip the 2x4 over and I'm going to put it up to the saw blade and it, I know that it's really hard to see on the video but the kerf that I cut, the blade goes right into that kerf. Now if the blade was not perpendicular to the table, it would be off at the top or the bottom. It wouldn't go right back into uh, the old kerf but this fits perfectly into the, old, the uh, kerf that I made. So my blade is ready to use. I'm going to get out a test piece and do a couple test cuts and see how this blade is cutting, see if the saw has been fixed.
I got was a really nice smooth cut. I think I may have fixed it. Um, there was a tiny bit of drift right in here, but that was me. I wasn't turning the board uh, fast enough to feed for the saw. Uh, I adjusted for that, and as I came down through here, I followed the line absolutely flawlessly. So um, I'm calling this fixed. I'm going to break out my pieces, and I'm going to get cutting, and hopefully I can get a bunch of this done tonight and uh, give you guys uh, an update on shaping uh, next, uh, next week. All right, you can see my old line. I was having a, a heck of a time following it. And today, look here. I am dead on the line. I couldn't be happier with the cut. So I think a combination of maybe a bad batch of blades as well as um, that uh, set nut being rounded over, uh, allowing the blade to twist, was my problem. So I'm very happy. I'm going to continue cutting, and uh, hopefully I'll have uh, some videos up soon on uh, rounding uh, this over. I think I'm going to try to clean this up, too. It's going to be tough, but uh, I'm going to give it a shot. All right, that wasn't too bad. Look how nice that cleaned up. A quick hit with the spindle sander, and you'll never know I had trouble cutting in that section. This is coming together nicely. Tip for you guys. You see I've got this hole drilled here. I need to pass my blade through there and cut out this... Uh, uh, it's, it's a snow, a uh, clump of snow um, is what's going to go there. So I need to cut that circle out. Now what I'm going to do is I need to feed the blade through that hole. And here's how I like to do it. I take a 2x4 and I lift the armature of my saw up and I set it on the 2x4. It holds it up in the air and you can see the blade. Here's the top of the blade here. So I've got a good uh, 3 quarters of an inch to an inch uh, of clearance. I can now take and set this over top of the blade, feed it down to the table, I can remove the 2x4, drop the armature back down, tighten my blade in, and I'm ready to make that tight inside cut. It just keeps you from having to really fight with the, with the armature and, and the saw, or the blade. Now that I've got the saw cutting, I did take a little time and cut a few more pieces out. Um, I have got to get back on the ball this coming week and get the rest of my pieces cut out because I'd like to start shaping next weekend. So I hope you uh, enjoyed the video uh, about the fix. And uh, I'll be uh, preparing uh, a, a video for you next week uh, on a little bit of shaping, I hope. And uh, if you like what you've seen, please consider liking and subscribing. Have a great day and uh, come back and see us.